Thank you. A piece of Lodi history up in flames after a raging fire tore through Tony Zuppo Field. The fire broke out Sunday. Yeah, this really has a, a spot in the hearts of a lot of people in this community who, who've either watched games here for decades or who've played here. Apologize for that. I jumped that sound bite. The fire broke out Sunday, and tonight city leaders are desperately trying to figure out how to rebuild in time for the next baseball season. It's important. CBS 13's Sharon Roger is live for us in Lodi tonight with a closer look at the damage there. And is also getting answers on what's next. Sharon. Yeah, Tony and Adrian, it's sad to see behind these locked gates a lot of memories, a lot of history. People drove by, by just in awe. That all that history can be lost in a matter of minutes. This field, really the center of baseball in this region. It's devastating. Everybody likes to play here. It's sad to see what's happened. This historic baseball field in Lodi reduced to rubble. The bleachers and press box behind home plate left charred. It was built around 1924, uh, so it's very old and the fire spread very quickly. Built 95 years ago, Tony Zuppo Field, named after a big baseball legend in Lodi, went up in flames Sunday night. Hopefully uh, they bring it back. It's been a great uh, place for the kids to play baseball. The field was once home to the Lodi Crushers collegiate wood bat baseball team. Generations of players have faced off on this field, including some famous names that ended up going pro. We had uh, players such as Fernando Valenzuela pitch here, Candy Maldonado, who started out with the Dodgers and later went on uh, to play with the Giants. Now high school baseball teams from Lodi High to Toke that used to play here are left in limbo. I had some players call me or text me last night uh, wondering what was up, if we were going to be able to play here this season. But like I said, it's it's fairly new, so it's still kind of up in the air what, what, what the outcome is going to be. Fire investigators say the blaze is suspicious, but the damage is so extensive that they haven't been able to determine exactly how it started. It's shut down until they can get it demolished. I, I wonder if the city is going to put the money back into it to uh, bring it back to life. This city must come up with a quarter million dollar deductible before insurance can even cover costs. We still have to uh, figure out where the source of those funds are going to come from. Those who live here hope the city can get this park back open in time for baseball season in spring. We just have to wait and see and uh, ho hopefully, you know, they get it fixed up and hopefully we get to play here this year. And again, the cause is under investigation. Those high school teams are looking at other options as they wait and see. But ultimately, the field will have to be demolished and rebuilt from the ground up. And the city needs the community support. In fact, they started a fund on their Facebook page where you can send your donations. Oh, you have to think that someone's watching tonight and, and wants to help out. Let's hope that the community can come together right. and get this money raised. All right.